Hello, welcome back. So today is the day that I and 600 of you have been anxiously waiting for. Um, my deck is here. Um, fully printed, ready to go. Everything is amazing. Um, I will go ahead and put a timestamp on this video so that if you are not interested in me being sappy and sentimental about this process, you can skip right by it and go straight to the walkthrough and, you know, me showing the deck. A little backstory about why today was even extra exciting for me. Um, so I knew that the deck was going to take about 45 days to get to me because it had to come on a barge or a boat or, you know, whatever. It had to come by boat, not by air, because it was so much and so many. Um, so it was 17 cases. Um, I think there are 60 decks in a box. Um, so they're big. I mean, 60 of these in one box. It's a big box. Um, they shipped at the end of June. I think June 24th was the day that they actually shipped. I thought that they were going to be here like the first week of August. Or when I did the math, I thought it was going to be the first week of August. Um, then the week, well, last week, um, the end of the week, the printer emailed me and said, Hey, the decks should be getting to you Monday or Tuesday. Let me know when you get it, what you think, if everything's okay, like, can't wait to hear about it. So Monday came and went, nothing. Tuesday came and went, nothing. Um, and it was shipped with UPS, which, like, typically it's my experience that they are slightly slower than other options coming from overseas, but whatever. They made up for it today. When I get to the delivery, it'll be even better. So... Yesterday came and went. I was busy yesterday. Today, I spent the whole morning trying to call UPS. I went into an actual store. I called the local di distribution center. Um, no one could give me any information about it. The When I used the tracking number, it just said that they were on their way. And that was it. There wasn't any sort of other information to be given. It didn't show like where they were or where they were coming from, or where in transit the decks were. So I came home sort of feeling a little defeated and, like, starting to kind of panic a little because, like, at this point it was two days later than the printer projected that they would be here. And so I was just, like, kind of getting nervous that all of the decks were going to be just gone. Um, so I came home, started doing laundry and stuff, and I, there was a knock at the door. So I opened the door. It was the UPS driver. And he was like, hey, so I don't know if you know that this is coming, but I have a lot of boxes to be delivered here. And I was like, I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate your hard work. I know it was heavy and like cumbersome to deal with. I appreciate it. Um, nicest driver on the planet um, wheeled them into my house for me because honestly, it would have been a feat and sort of a struggle to get them all in without a dolly. And so he was like, it's no big deal. Like you're wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. If you don't mind, I'll just wheel them straight into your house for you. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. So he wheeled them all in. It was 17 boxes. I sprayed them with disinfectant, de would them, um, and here we are. Um, and so I, like, I can't wait to start packing them up and sending them out and getting them to people, but before I did that, I wanted to film an actual walkthrough, um, so that everyone that's waiting to get it can sort of have a little sneak peek and see exactly what you're going to be receiving. And if you miss the Kickstarter or you're just happening to find my video now and you're new and you've never met me, then hello, welcome. This is me. Um, this is me in real life. <laughs> I don't, I thought about putting on like a nice shirt to like 
match the vibe of the deck and everything and like get a little backdrop going and I was like I can't be bothered I just want to sit down show the deck um but like I said if you have missed the campaign or you know for whatever reason you didn't back it and you're interested I will leave the link for my Etsy store down in the description and um you can still order the deck um there are a thousand copies total and i think at this point around 650 of them have been sold and i will be shipping them out in the next hopefully week or two i'm hoping to like really just pack them up knock them out ship them out because I, I don't want people to be waiting longer than they have to um yeah so i guess before i've actually flip the camera and you know proceed with the walkthrough i do want to give a really big thank you to the kickstarter campaigns uh you know backers and um but not only that but also to just the people who may not have been able to afford to back the campaign or for whatever reason couldn't um but were still really supportive of me and my process and um had just really nice things to say all of that all of it meant a lot to me all of the messages on kickstarter all of the comments on kickstarter really kept me going and really made me even more excited to work on this project and get it done and it really meant a lot to me and i didn't really get a chance to respond to every comment on the kickstarter campaign because there were lots of comments and so if you are one of the backers that left a comment and i didn't respond to it know that i'm sorry and know that i did read it and i do appreciate it and it does mean the world to me um yeah i just i am i'm so excited that this is finally here and I can finally share it with everyone and let everyone feel it and see it. And it, it is truly a labor of love. And the time that I spent doing it was really sort of therapeutic and cathartic almost. And um, really needed, I really needed the time that I spent doing this i needed to spend it doing this and i don't know how else to explain it other than that so yeah and thank you to everyone who helped in any way um melissa zupan helped me a lot with editing um and sort of like deciding on fonts and things um Jen from Jen's Balanced Tarot and Elle, who is now retired from YouTube. Um, they also were really helpful. Um, yeah, when I was like first picking out the palettes and like, you know, I had some sample cards done and everything. They were really, everyone that I asked for feedback, I appreciate it. And if I, if you are not one of those people that I already have mentioned, just know that I have 17 boxes of decks here and I'm very excited and my ADD brain is sort of um, all over the place. So thank you. And um, yeah, now I've rambled for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera and we'll have a walkthrough. All right, so here it is. Um, the only thing that I have done is I did take the plastic wrap off of it. So um, when you get it, it'll still be plastic wrapped and everything. But I cannot tell you truly how happy I am. So it's a two-piece box. It does have the little thumb cutouts. And then that is the inside of the box, also printed, which I just love having a little, you know, a little bonus detail. Here is the bottom. We have our 
four suits around the edge and then on the inside is the actual, that is the back of the deck. Um, and then for our guidebook, it's a little accordion, it's an accordion style, so you can open it still, it still really sort of operates like a book, honestly. You just have to do it this way. So it's sort of a little back and front. So I have a little how-to and then the majors and then I go straight into the wands, pinnacles, swords, and of course I had to end with cups because that is my favorite. And then this is a little spread that you can do and then that is just a little continuation of the front of the de uh, design. So there's that. Um, I will just take the little plastic band off of these. And then we have our fronts, the backs, and then I cannot tell you how excited I am about the color that this came out. All right, I think that's a little better, but it is just like, the most subtle little blush pink color. Really, really beautiful in person. I don't know, the camera is truly not doing it justice, but then we have our backs, which are lovely. And then, um, yeah, we can just go straight into a walkthrough. So we have our Fool. The Magician, the High Priestess. Let me actually zoom in a little, even more, so you can get a better, I want it to be as clear and true as possible. Our Empress, and I cannot tell you, the printer matched the files, like, perfectly. I could not have asked for a better color match than this. I was a little nervous at first because, you know, sometimes you never know. The saturation might not be exactly what you're expecting or sometimes colors just don't translate well from, you know, a file to print. And so I was very nervous but I can tell you, without a doubt, this matches my original files perfectly. No change at all. Um, so I guess I can, while we're taking a look at these cards, I can tell you a little bit about um, the specifics of the cards. So it is a um, 350... GSM, um, so it is, it feels nice, but it's still really bendy, which is, it was important to me. And then the lamination is a UV protectant mat, so it resists scratching, it's not as easy to scratch, also it's just the laminate is a little more, the lamination is a little more durable than just the standard kind. Um, and so that, what that should translate to is a deck that will last longer than a standard, you know, typical deck. And I just, I cannot tell you, I'm just, I'm so, so happy that this has, you know, this has come out as good as it has. Um, and I just really cannot wait for people to get it and use it. And I can't wait to see what people think. And I can't wait to 
see people doing readings with it. I'm just like, I'm over the moon excited. Um, the only card that is not here, and I can grab it and show it to you, but the only card that's not here is the, um, the signature card that will tell you what edition, not edition, what number of the print run you have. Um, those I had printed somewhere else so that I could get them ahead of this and um, start signing them and numbering them. And honestly, there wasn't really a way for me to have them printed in with a deck like this anyway, because then I would have to open every single deck, take the card out, put the card back in, worry about if the card, you know, one card's gonna fall out and get lost. So I had them printed separately, so I'm going to add them in. It'll be in the box that gets shipped out. Um, the other thing that I did with the signature card is I made it a uh, poker size instead of tarot size. That way it is like super easy for you to just, if you want to keep it in with the deck, um, and you don't, you know, sometimes it can be hard when decks have extra cards it can be hard to keep up with them and take them out and, you know, find them when they get accidentally shuffled in and stuff. And I figured if I made it poker sized, then it would be really easy for you to find it in the deck and just pull it out and keep it separate, but then also be able to keep it so you'll always know what number you have. Um, and maybe that's just me overthinking it because I am a tarot collector and I do really love the little extra cards and things that come with the deck. Um, so yeah, but I am so excited. And then finally we have the two extra cards that you can swap out if you want strength to be eight and justice to be 11 or the other way around. But they're the exact same card, just different number. So, yeah, so that is my Moon Baby Tarot, and I very much hope that everyone loves it and enjoys it, and if you did not back the Kickstarter and you're interested, then you can find the link to my Etsy in the description and if you did back the kickstarter or you have already pre-ordered the deck on etsy then hopefully within the next couple of weeks people will start getting them and you know please tag me in any of your posts please let me know when you get it let me know what you think about it i cannot wait to see people using it and loving it as much as i do and i can't wait to start using it so Thank you all for being on this Kickstarter deck creation journey with me. And yeah, y'all have a great rest of your day, night, morning. See you soon.